YouTube, 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 SoFi Price Predictions. So thank you guys for tuning in to the Life Changing Finances YouTube channel. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. So SoFi, all right, one of the uh, favorite hot stocks of uh, today. And we know that SoFi has earnings coming out uh, not tomorrow, Monday, but the following Monday, right? So all eyes will be... Um, on on sofa so this week could potentially could potentially be a ramp up week uh leading up to the earnings which will be out on the next monday okay so there's things that we have to look at so number one the financial sector across the board uh has some good some good things and some bad things uh one thing that we noticed is the, the charge off uh, history that's going on, right? So we are potentially in what they call a credit crisis. Uh, a lot of people are defaulting, uh, can't pay the loans back and whatnot. So, uh, and this is where SoFi comes in, right? So SoFi has the technology to look into, you know, high risk, um, you know, consumers when it comes to borrowing money, right? So from that perspective, I think that SoFi will do better uh, on that side of the, the, the of the uh, fence, where right? I think they'll do better. I'm not going to say it's going to be a ton better, but I think that's going to be better. I think they're going to have uh, less charge-offs, less defaulting going on. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking. So you guys let me know what you think about that in the comments below. So we have... Overall, we know that the banking sector uh, is not typically going to get left behind, although so far is newer and it's on the lower end of the, the spectrum as of right now. OK, so knowing all of this, I will say this. The only thing that I can see that will have a major impact is going to be what's happening over in the Middle East between Iran and Israel. OK. So from that perspective, if we have no uh, attacks, the stock can slowly start to go up. OK, so maybe we can come back to uh, $7.19, find some support there, work our way up to $7.28, and then maybe get back into the $7.32 range uh, that we've seen to have hit a couple of times last week so overall we want to go upward with so far because of what's been going on with the bank stocks right so the market had a scare last week and the previous week and then and now we're starting to see a lot of the numbers and i'm going to show you here are starting to well can't show you there but i'll tell you this a lot of the numbers that are coming out of tech are starting to go into the financial industry such as banking right so so far is probably going to be viewed as more of a, a defensive stock because of that okay so i'm not saying that's totally that right now but over time it can it can potentially become that so because of uh everything that's going on uh, i think uh so far has pretty much bottom out unless there's going to be more attacks coming okay so if attacks do come now we have to look to the downside and so now i'm going to go to the one month out chart uh maybe let's go three months out okay so we can see uh the bottom over the last three months is six dollars and 83 cent okay and that seems to be uh, kind of a, a, a normal thing. So we always kind of bottom out around the same range and then we kind of explode back up. So even if the floor, let's say, is, is 644, let's say if it's lower. OK, we'll hit that. I'll, I'm going by there and then I know eventually it's going to go back up. OK, so. The floor to me right now with this thing is 644, let's say if some more attacks happen and overall the market just, just does not like that information, the stock could potentially go as low as 644, but 
in the shorter term, I just don't see it going really under 685, which would be this week. So for this week, I don't really see it going under 685. Now, if this were to carry on into the following week, then of a downtrend, then we could potentially hit about 658, okay? But even at that point, we know that uh, uh, SoFi is, is in the bank, sort of, well, is in the, the banking industry, and it will be viewed as a bailout stock in a lot of investors' eyes, okay? I'm not saying everybody eyes, but in many investors' eyes, so... That's what we have. So those are the levels uh, that I'm looking at as far as uh, SoFi. Uh, I think, like I said, they'll be doing better number-wise as far as uh, charge-offs, defaults, and everything that's going on across the financial sector. So even when we see all of these, these this credit crisis going on, uh, consumers not having the ability to borrow as much money because of the charge offs and everything that's going on with the defaults. Um, I still think that a lot of investors will start to put their money into uh, companies like SoFi, especially at the price that it is right now. Okay. So that's, that's just my perspective. You may not agree with it, but that's the way I see things. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, also, let me know what levels you're looking at as far as so far. Do you particularly only look at this thing from a long term perspective? I know a lot of you guys traded because of the price. Uh, let me know what you think from a trading perspective, trading perspective, too. OK, so whatever you guys do uh, short term this week, next week, whatever week, make sure you guys have a tight stop loss. If you're going to be uh, dependent on the stock going one way, uh, not playing it both ways, uh, especially in the environment we're in, um, be careful. Know your entry points. Know your exits. Stick to your plans. We're out, guys. Peace. Like, share, and subscribe.